What's something that every world needs? They need an iron farm. This iron farm can be made within the first week of being in your Minecraft world. Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. Today we're going to build a really easy iron farm that can be made in the first week or seven days of your Minecraft world, especially if you have a village nearby. It's really simple. It doesn't make a huge amount of iron, but you can get um, double chestfuls of iron fairly quickly. And it's a great way to start your world with some iron. And later on, you can upgrade this to a bigger iron farm if need be. First off, you need to place down 15 beds like this. I do them three wide and five long. And what I like to do is uh, put an accent bed in the middle, just because. And then what I do after I get the 15 beds down is I surround it with white glass. I leave a space where the ground level is. You'll see why in a second. Then it's time to get your villagers. So what I do is I get a villager in a boat and I just ride into this glass. See him being in the glass doesn't affect him at all. It's a good way to get inside here and just pop the boat. And now you got a villager in here. And then all you got to do is get the second villager in here then replace these beds. I tend to have a very big carrot farm. So what I do is I give the villagers five or six stacks of carrots to begin with and this will uh, create them to uh, start breeding. So they'll share the food and then they'll start breeding. So all you really have to do is hang out at the villager breeder until they uh, populate the area with 15 villagers. It sounds like a lot, but it only takes a few Minecraft days, probably three or four, to get them all done. And every couple of villagers that they uh, are born, you should give them some more carrots. So while you're doing this, you might want to be growing carrots. So while the villagers are breeding and they're getting to the point of uh, having 15 of them in there while you're waiting, what I do is I place down a perimeter of... Uh, slabs so nothing can spawn including um, including iron golems in this area so now we have a perimeter around the uh, area where the villagers are that goes out 10 blocks in all directions and now we just get to build it up the water source that the um, golems can spawn on because they can't spawn on these slabs they need to spawn on the full blocks so let's create that now so all I do is I create a nine long uh, row here and I fill it out all the way to this side. So I fill in between. Now that you have the floor that is nine long and as wide as the villager breeder, we're going to put a ring around it so we can add water to this to push the golems off the top of this. And then we add water to this back side and the water flows to the edge like that so all we need to do is make the killing chamber so what I do is I make a wall from the top down to the ground that's three long and this uh, wraps out the corner the edges so the uh, golems can't get out. I replace the half slabs in between the walls and add uh, full blocks and add an extra row of full blocks there and this will be where the killing chamber is and what I do is I add um, glass. I just fill this in all in with glass so all the way up to that level across the whole way. Then I add water inside here on either side like that. So I take out the center where it's combining and one right next to it. So I have a, uh, a two by three area and I add hoppers 
So it will look like this. You'll have the hoppers in the center and the water flowing over to the hoppers. And the, and when the golems die, the hoppers will suck up the, um, the iron and the poppy flowers and it will bring it to a chest. Now we got to add the killing chamber, the, uh, the lava blade that we're going to use to kill these guys. So what I do is I add signs on the glass in the center. Then to the side of it, I add them one higher. You need three signs. And also on the other side, uh, we need three signs. So it looks like that. Then we add a lava blade in the center and let it flow down there. And when the golems fall in here, this guy's stuck in the wall. So he's gonna die automatically. <laughs> oh, maybe not. So when they go into the center, they're killed like that. There's one thing more thing that we gotta do is we're going to cover this whole outer edge with slabs so the iron golems do not spawn on the outside edge here. And you take out these center blocks right there and add a chest. And this thing's done. So this iron farm is very easy to build. It doesn't take long to build. It creates lots of iron golems. And um, we're going to do a test right now. I'm going to do like a five or ten minute uh, test to see how much iron we get and times that to get the hourly amount because I don't have the time to wait around for an hour so I'm gonna do about five minutes I'm gonna take everything out of here and uh, I guess we'll begin now All right, it's been about five minutes, so let's check out to see how much we've gotten in five minutes. We got 14 iron. So what that comes out to be is about two and a half stacks an hour, which is fine for a beginning farm. If you're doing things around your uh, spawn area, I, I would place this inside your spawn chunks. Um, as long as you're in your spawn chunks, you're doing stuff, it will create iron in two and a half hours. I mean, you can go caving or something and it really, um, doesn't take long to grab up the iron. So it's a really good beginner farm as you see the golems come real quick. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the iron farm, beginning janky junky iron farm, but it does the job. And I'm really glad that it's easy to be made and it creates a lot of iron for the beginning world. <laughs> and you gotta make sure that you have all your spots spawn proof because the golems will find the, the places where it's not spawn proof. So I forgot to replace those uh, slabs there. So you can see how important it is to have the area spawn proofed around. So make sure you slab out the area. And have, with that, have a great day. This is KMA. Goodbye.